Long before Boeing flew the coop here and the old commercial aviation headquarters, this was Long Acres, the region's biggest horse track. Well, we'll see some other kind of running here soon. We are just thrilled to plant our flag uh, on this site. Sounders owner Adrian Hanauer announced a new 50,000 square foot headquarters and team training facility on the banks of the Green River and connected to the aptly named Sounder Train. Four fields on a 150 acre site that will replace their current home just down the river in Tukwila. What will this place offer that you don't have in Tukwila? The word that comes to mind is scale. Um, you know, we just, it's a, we have a blank canvas here to, to some degree and we get to start from scratch and to design a world-class facility. He says the club will spend tens of millions of dollars in redeveloping the Renton grounds, where owner Unico Properties says it also plans to build 3,000 units of neighboring housing. The partnership also aimed at attracting FIFA to use the site in the 2026 World Cup. We brought them on a, uh, a stealth tour um, of the facility, so uh, they, they have seen the plans. They, they know that this could potentially be a training facility. Dig it. But there is no doubt change is coming for a piece of land that has hosted ponies, planes, and now pitches. And besides those ponies, planes, and pitches, there are other possibilities besides the Tukwila losing the team here to Renton. There is already talk about the Tacoma Defiance, which is the Sounders minor league affiliate potentially moving here. The business operations that are currently in Seattle also coming here. So one big hub for the two-time MLS champs. Bottom line, this is a big business win for the city of Renton after losing Boeing here in the same spot a couple of years ago. That's the story live in Renton this afternoon. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.